What does the Bible say about discipleship? Well, obviously, it says a ton. But let's try to distill it down to uh, something we can wrap our minds around. First, it's about life-on-life -life relationships. It's not you isolating yourself and staring at the scriptures and in hopes of becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's a great part of it, understanding the scriptures, but it's always in the context of relationships. Those relationships influence who you are. As a matter of fact, you need three relationships in your Christian experience. You need a Paul, someone who's older, wiser, a mentor. You need a Timothy, somebody that's under you and younger than you that you're pouring your life into. And you also need a Barnabas, a peer, someone to run the rapids with, someone that's alongside of you, someone that you can share and confess your sins to. That's taken a lot of the New Testament and distilling it down, but in a snapshot, it's about influence. It's about life on life. It's concerned about every man, and it's extremely intentional. 